You are the Lord, praise King of glory. You are the, you are the, the King of honor. Sikuwa leo bwana tunakuabudu wewe peke yako ndio unastahili kuabudiwa. Mali ulipo nyanyua sauti yako tunapomwabudu Mungu. Worship the Lord tonight. Somebody worship the King of glory. Mwabudu Mungu siku wa leo. Mwabudu Mungu siku wa leo. Yeye peke yake anastahili kuabudiwa. Yeye peke yake anastahili kuinuliwa. This night is worthy to be worshiped. Is worthy to be worshiped. Oh hallelujah. Yes, is worthy of our worship. Is worthy of our worship tonight. Oh hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. You are worthy of our worship, Mina Koma Kingara. Yes, Jehovah. Thank you, Mila Koma Kingara. Unastaiku Abudi Osi Koleo. You are worthy to be worshipped tonight. You are worthy to be worshipped tonight, King of Glory. Yes, Mambia Yesu Anastaili. Mambia Yesu Anastaili Osi Koleo. Mwambie Jehova anastahili usiku leo. Yes. Yes. Yes, worship the King of Glory. Unastahili. Unastahili kwa budi. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, who has died, 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 Unastahili kuabudiwa Jehova sheke taba ya ndalaba babu zeke to Yes Lord unastahili kuabudiwa Mungu unastahili kuabudiwa usiku wa leo You are worthy to be worshiped tonight Somebody worship the Lord worship the Lord wherever you are Raise your voice and worship the King of glory Raise your voice and worship him tonight Sheke ya raba shata ya raba babu Sheke ya ndalaba babu Sheke taya taya ndalaba babu Jehovah, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy. Miracle working God, you are worthy. You are worthy to nod, you are worthy to nod. You are worthy to be worshipped. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Lord. In these times and these seasons, Lord, we worship you. 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 Oh, God, we worship you. You are worthy to be worshipped. You are worthy to be worshipped. Tonight we are here to worship you. Tonight we are here to give you all the praise. Tonight we are here, Lord, to exalt you. Tonight we are here, Lord, to say you are worthy to be worshipped. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy to be exalted. You are worthy, my Father, to be worshipped. There is none like you, O God. You are the highly exalted God. You are the miracle-working God. You are Jehovah Jile. You are Jehovah Lava. Our you are the King of Glory, our sufficient God. To now we worship you. To now we give you praise. To now we give you all the adoration. To now we say thank you, Upper Father. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Father, for your preservation. Thank you, Father, for your protection. Thank you, Father, for being with us, O God. Thank you, Father, for giving us a victorious life. Thank you, Jehovah. This moment we are before you. We exalt you. Your holy name. We worship you, oh God. You are our light. You are our defender. Oh God, you're everything to us, my Father. This night receive praise. Receive all the glory. All the honor belongs to you, upper Father. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, miracle working God. I pray for all my viewers from wherever they are watching me, oh God. 
I bless their lives, my Father. Touch them, Jehovah. Remember them, oh God. Those that are crying to Nara, wipe away their tears. Those that are in pain to Nara, give them, my Father, the reverence, my God. Those that have been possessed by demons, tonight I speak the reverence in their lives. Those that are under cast, tonight I deliver them, my God. In the name of Jesus Christ, the devil, you are a liar. The devil, you are a liar. You cannot deceive the people of the Lord. To now I deliver them. I speak right to their eyes. May they see what God has in the uh, in their situation. In their in their lives, may God may God open their eyes so that they can see their bright future in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ, I speak, my Father, my God, may you protect them, may you be with them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for your word. It's been as we are listening your word shortly, oh God. I pray the Lord Jesus, may your spirit give me unction to function. May I speak your word with clarity, may I speak your word with your power, may I speak your word with your revelation, oh God. May I know, not speak my own things, but I speak your word, oh God. May I speak your will to your people. My Father, my God, silence my will. May your will be known to the world. My Father, use me that your kingdom, my, my Father, may be manifested in this earth through me. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray and believe. Amen, amen, hallelujah. Tonight is an hour of transformation. Tonight is an hour that God is going to do something new in our life. I know we have been waiting for this broadcast because God has something for you. God has something for me. God has something for the church. God has something for this nation. God has something for the entire world. You are there and you are listening to me. Listen to the voice of the Lord because God tonight will speak through me and God tonight now we do miracles and wonders. This is a night that you will never miss. This is a moment that you never miss in your life. Because I want to talk about the ways that God will protect us. The ways that God will preserve us from this evil world. From this wicked world. We are living in a wicked world. We are living in an evil world. But God will protect us. Hallelujah. God has power to protect us. God has power to protect us. Our children. God has power to protect our business. God has power to protect and keep us safe in these dangerous times that we are in. And this particular moment, you are there and you are crying. You are there and you don't know the way to go. But I want to tell you to now, the Lord that we serve is Jehovah Jireh. Is Jehovah Lava. Is the King of Glory. His name is Jehovah. He will preserve you. He will take care of you. The devil is a liar. He will not dement you. God will protect you, child of God. God will protect you. We saw one way that God will protect his children is to keep us safe, is to keep us inaccessible to the devil. We cannot be accessed by the devil. The devil cannot access you. Hallelujah. The devil cannot access your health. The devil cannot access your business. The devil cannot access your family. The devil cannot access your children. The the devil will not access you. Why? Because you are protected by Jehovah. Hallelujah. Tonight, number two, we want to see the ways that God will keep us safe from this dangerous world that we are in. From this evil world that we are in. Many things that are happening all over the world, you look at them and you wonder, what is this happening? You wonder, even you don't see the love of God in people. People's love has gone cold. People are killing each other. There's conflict in the world. There's conflict. There is wars. Wars. People are fighting. There is internal wars in even your mind. Your mind is fighting with the other mind that you don't understand. The devil is a liar and to now it he must be defeated in the name of Jesus Christ. Shout hallelujah. Jehovah is so faithful. Jehovah is going to do a miracle in your life. Rule number two, God has 
covered you with the garment of light. Jehovah has already covered you with the garment of light. God himself he has encircled you with the garment of light. When you read the book of Psalms number 104, verse number 1 to 2, the Bible says, the book of Psalms number 104, verse 1 to 2, the Bible says, Praise the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are very great. You are you are clothed with honor and majesty who cover yourself with lie as, as with a garment who stretch out the heavens like a curtain. Jehovah, the Bible is saying, Jehovah has covered you with the garment of lie. Jehovah has stretched heaven like a curtain so that it can praise a protection upon you. Hallelujah. I love my God because he has put a protection over my life. He has put a protection over my family. He has put a protection and a cover and the right over the government, over my people. In the name of Jesus Christ, they are protected. The devil is a liar. This is the only description of God's glory upon my life that I, when I hear this word, I find joy in my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know my children are protected. Why? Because the garment of the light of God is upon our lives. Is upon our lives. Oh, my soul tonight. Praise the Lord, my soul, because Jehovah, His majesty, His power, He has protected us and He has put the garment of His light around us. So we are covered, child of God. You, you do not need to be fearing. Don't fear the devil. Don't be afraid. The devil is a liar. Jehovah has already covered you with the garment of the lie of his light. Mm. So the enemy will not come near you. You know why? You know the light of God makes the devil to scare. Makes the devil not to come near you. So tonight, know this, you are protected, hallelujah. Amen. You are covered by the light of his garment. Jehovah is good Amen. because he has protected us, hallelujah. When you read the book of Psalms chapter 8, verse 5, Psalms chapter 8, verse 5, the Bible says, For you have made him a little lower than the angels, and you have crowned him with the glory and honor. Jehovah has crowned him with glory. Jehovah has crowned you with his glory. Hallelujah. Amen. As he sang, you know, David sang in Psalms 93 that Jehovah God's praises is so worthy to be praised day and night. God is so mighty. God is so powerful. I tell you, I tell you, tonight, I want to tell you, you are protected. You are protected, child of God. As a believer in Christ, we are temples of the living God. The Bible says, when you are reading the book of Corinthians, the Bible says that we are the temples of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Somebody, you must know this, that you are a temple of the Holy Spirit. Let us go to Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, very fast. I don't have time, but I, I want to tell you something tonight. That you are protected, you are covered by the light of His garment. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, chapter 6, go to chapter 6. Somebody, are you there? Chapter 6, chapter 6, verse 19. Very powerful, very powerful indeed. The Bible says, Oh, do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Who is in you, whom you are from God, and you are not your own. The Bible is reminding us to now that do, do you know, you know, you're even you might be forgetting this that you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. That means the Lord Himself stays in you. Hallelujah. Somebody, you know, this is a very powerful word. This is a very powerful word. It is true that the Holy Spirit stays in us. The Holy Spirit is God in His strength. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So God dwells in us. Do you know that you are bought with a price? You were bought with a price in the cross. Jesus Christ died on the cross because of you and me. So child of God, you are not an ordinary person. The devil cannot defeat you. Why? Because you are not an ordinary person. You are bought by the blood of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 20, the Bible
Bible says, for you were bought at a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which which are God's. So God put you with his price on the cross. So child of God, you are put with a price. The enemy has no power over your body. The enemy has no power over your soul. The devil has no power over your family and over your children. Why? Because they have been bought by the price. And the price is the blood of Jesus Christ. Do you remember this? The enemy trying every day to put fear in you so that you can call you can lose control in life so that you can lose focus in life but I want to tell you and encourage you to now that don't lose focus in life why because you are poured by the pride and your body is a table of the Holy Spirit Jesus Christ stays in you the Lord my father stays in you so you don't need to fear you need only to connect to the King of glory you need only to accept him you need only to Acknowledge that he is the Lord. There is none like him. Hallelujah. So tonight I want to tell you that Lord who called you here is with you. He will not leave you, never forsake you. He will go with you until the end. He goes everywhere we go. When we are filled with him, he goes wherever we want to go. When we are asleep, he goes with us. When we eat, he eats with us. When you drive, he drives with you. Child of God, you need God in your life. This is a dangerous moment that we are living in. Look at the temperature in our nation, Kenya. Political temperature. Everybody is fighting for the, uh, this, this city and this city. But I want to give you a question. The nation of Kenya, listen to me. The Lord wants to eat this nation. Let every person know that there is a law, there is a God in heaven who we must worship. You know what? If you want to bring this nation down, God will bring you down. I want to dare you. If you have an evil plan so that people can shed their blood, I want to tell you before that plan come to pass, my God, the King of glory, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, he will tear you down. Hallelujah. You are not born by a mistake. You are born with a reason and purpose. Mm -hmm. So tonight I want to tell you, God lives in us. And we should take this, that his presence is in us. And his love he enjoys forever in our hearts. Hallelujah. He has covered us with his garment. Hallelujah. He has covered us with his shield. He has covered us with his life. We may not be always able to see it. But rest assured, beings in the spirit realm, including devils and demons see and recognize the glory of God in us. You know the devil and demons around us recognize the power of God upon us. The devil recognizes and sees the light of God upon us. So child of God, you don't need to fear. You don't need to worry because there is a presence of God upon our lives. There is a right that you don't see. You cannot be able to see it but be assured that God has covered you with his garment of his glory, with his shield with his light. You are protected child of God. You are protected. Hallelujah. This is the right which is feasible in the natural too. Someone once sent us a copy and said that you know what? That the right that you see in the fisk is the right that the devil see in the spiritual realm. You know sometimes when darkness comes, it needs light so that the darkness can disappear. So, child of God, you are covered by the blessings of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Number three, the number three, the ways how God can keep you safe from this world of evil. This is number three I'm giving you, and this is the last for this night. God shall keep a shield of the word over you, so no fiery dart of the devil can penetrate your life. Hallelujah. Amen. God shall keep a shield of his word in you. Hallelujah. Amen. Even if the devil tries to put anything against you, the devil will not have room in you because the Lord is with you. Look at someone in the Bible and you read in the book of Daniel chapter 3. I love Daniel chapter 3. Young men full of the power of the Holy Spirit, full of the shield of the word of God. And the devil and now the devil is trying to enter into King Nebuchadnezzar. And Nebuchadnezzar is telling them that you must bow and worship this, uh, this, 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 this idol. And now they are saying that we cannot bow down 
worship that idol. Let it be known that the Lord that we worship is able to save us. Even if he will not save us from this fire, we will not bow before that idol. And you see, the king was very furious. The king was very angry. The anger of the king grew up. And now the king commanded that the might man, the might man go and bring Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego and they you go and bring the best robes in the shop, in the town. And then I know, you know, it was the king. Even he, he was to command even the chains so that they can come. So they tear him and loud and they say, now we are throwing you to the fire. If you know, bow and worship this idol. They said, young men, full of God's right, full of the shield of God's war. They said, we will not bow before the idol. Let it be known that it's a God that we worship. Let it be known that it's a God. And inside the fire, the Bible tells me Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego with the four man Jesus Christ appeared in the fall, they are in appeared in the finance of fire, and they were walking majestically, they were marching inside the fire. Even those men that threw them inside the fire, the Bible says the fire consumed them. You know the fire will consume the enemy who are trying to push you to the to push you to the pit of the den of the lions. Who those who are trying to push you to the fire. The devil and his actions to not the under fire. Why? Because the fourth man is appearing in your life. Hallelujah. And that fourth man is Jesus Christ. Even though as a Christian, the Holy Spirit is within you. Hallelujah. You still must make sure you have your shield of faith in place when the devil aims a fiery plan against you. You are protected. Hallelujah. Child of God, you are protected. Even if you have the Holy Spirit in you, you must, hallelujah, have your shield of faith in praise. When the devil plans, I vote plan against you. You will defeat him because you have the shield of your faith in praise and the shield of the word of God over your life. Hallelujah. Amen. And you do that by knowing the word of God. And the promises in the word of God about protection and believing and standing on it in faith. Hallelujah. You will not have faith to believe for this protection if you do not know what God says about it. You must know what the word of God says about it. You will not have it but until you know what it says about it. The promises is in the word. Because faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Not hearing only once but hearing the word of God. You will find that in Romans chapter 10 for 17. I'm rushing with time because we are out of time but, but I want to take you somewhere. So you must know it's what to have a basis of faith. You must have the word of God in your life. Hallelujah. So by keeping a shield of the word over you, no fiery plan of the devil will come and penetrate into your life. Evil plannings may come. Evil agendas may be designed. But don't listen to them. Oh, because God is with you. Jehovah is with you. Circumstances may look grim, but I want to tell you, keep your heart fixed on God's word. Hallelujah. Look unto his promises instead of this situation. Resist the devil. There's no storm that is bigger than the, that uh, than our God. Take your seat in the refuge of the most high God. Oh, stay. Hold unto your position. Under the presence, under the presence of God, you are protected. I want to Wind up by the book of James. Somebody there, if you are there and you are watching me tonight, know the God that I serve is taking you somewhere tonight. He's doing a miracle in your life. He's changing your story tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Your story must change. Your story must change. Whether the enemy loves it or not, your story must change. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Child of God, the enemy will not steal you from, his, from the the presence of God. The devil want to destroy your destiny. I tell you, by God has a good plan for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us turn to the book of let us turn to the book of James. James, James, hallelujah. A very powerful verse, a very powerful verse. I tell you, I tell you, chapter 4, number 7, the Bible says, hallelujah. Therefore, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will fall from you. Submit. 
submit your ways to God, submit your life to God, submit everything that you do to God, and now resist the devil, resist his plan, and the devil will free you from you. Tonight I want to declare to your Lord, child of God, you are protected, a child of God, you are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. The enemy has no power over you. Stand in faith, trust in the Lord who called you. He is faithful, he will keep you until the end. God never created you so that you can suffer. Never, God never created you so that you can die a premature death. The Bible says he has a good plan for us, a plan to prosper our future, a plan to give us a hope. So the devil will not kill our destinies. Our destinies are delivered tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. The destiny of Kenya is delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. The destiny of the world is delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. May God hear us tonight. Now, may God heal our world. May God heal us from this corona virus. May God heal us from this dead politics in Kenya. As I send a warning to our politicians, you are in Kenya and you are trying to put people and gang against each other so that people can share blood. I want to tell you, you are days and number. My God, I serve. He will not allow you to share blood of innocent Kenyans. So tonight I want to tell you, Leave that evil plan. Turn to the Lord. God knows the next president of our Republic of Kenya. So just stay on track. Trust in the Lord and he will show up for you. Mm -hmm. Let's pray. You are there and you need a miracle tonight. You need God's protection over these dangerous moments that we are in. Bow your heads now we pray. My Father, my God. Thank you for every few that is watching me live from all over the world. I pray the Lord Jehovah Nishi. May you, O oh God, heal them. May you protect them from this coronavirus. My Father, my God, there's those that are crying. There's those that are in pain tonight. I pray for my God for their freedom. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare your word over their lives. They will never die, but they shall live to testify and to die. Talk your word with power and clarity. Father, help all the person that is watching me live from wherever they are watching me. Protect them and be with them, oh God. Father, receive the praise, receive the glory for the miracles and the wonders and the signs you are doing all over the world. Father, I worship you and I call for your name. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray as somebody say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. So I want to, to give God all the praise and all the glory. For he has given us this opportunity to be in his presence. And I want to tell you, just continue following up this program because God is speaking in our midst. God is moving in a mighty way in our midst. Miracles are happening all over. I know the Lord I serve is a God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He's a God of signs and wonders. He's God of miracles and signs. So you are there. You need prayers. You need counseling. You need an adversary. You need God is speaking in our generation. And I want to assure you that the Lord we serve is a faithful God. So you are there and you need something so that I can help you, you can call my number, you can leave your comment on my comment side so that we can get in touch with you and God will do a miracle. I want to tell you, there's something great that is about to happen. Just watch. Don't be afraid what the devil is doing around you. The enemy will not touch you. Why? Because you are protected. There is a cover on the right of God. The garment of the right of God is upon your life, upon your children, upon your family. So stay connected. Stay connected. Every Thursday is our service day. And I want to tell you that we will be announcing a very good program very soon. We are planning things. I know there's partners all over that they are, they are partnering with us. There are those that are supporting this program. There's those that are making this work to be better for the glory of God. There's those that are supporting so that we can do something good for the Lord. I know you are there and you need to support this work of God. Don't be dismayed. Don't be discouraged. Just have a focus because God has called you for this generation. God has called you for this moment so that you can take the gospel to the nations and you can take the gospel and you can preach. You know, preaching is not necessary that you can go right
live and preach the way I'm doing, but you can support this program by even donating a camera or you donating a instrument, so whatever that the Lord will speak to you, and then we will do something great for the Lord so that God can be honored in our generation. May God bless you and may God do you good in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shalom, 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 shalom. Amen, amen. May God bless you. See you on another Thursday. But if you need counseling and you need an advice, just call my number or you just like my page and then we will get in touch. If you comment or text me or just SMS me or just messenger me, then we will talk. God bless you. God bless you.